In terms of taking on an apprentice, it's really important for the employer to understand their full commitment in terms of um, engaging with the apprenticeship agenda. So first of all, they need to understand that um, there's a commitment to them providing 20% off the job training. So they're responsible for providing 80% of that experience to that young person um, or that apprentice in terms of the job role and um, supporting them to train on the job to be able to develop new skills, knowledge and behaviours. Um, but then the 20% that they're released from their job role is really the responsibility of us as a training provider to provide that learning experience and to be able to work on um, you know, the, the training aspect and, and the delivery of the apprenticeship standard itself. And so the, the employer really needs to commit to releasing them from the timetable to be able to engage in that training side of things. And that's a, um, a fundamental aspect really. It's mandatory that they are able to attend tutored sessions, our skills festival days, engage in learning off the job to be able to get assignments and tasks done and just generally to be able to kind of you know undertake training and development related to the knowledge skills and behaviors of the apprenticeship the employer will also need to make sure that they provide a role that is linked to and directly um, uh, allows development of the knowledge skills and behaviors of the apprenticeship so there's no use to the apprentice if the job role that they're given doesn't fit what they're doing the training in so again it's really important the apprentice and the employer both understand the training alongside the job role so that they match um, and that's a really key role in terms of the tutor training provider and um, the, the training provider alongside the employer and the apprentice to be able to constantly be revisiting those knowledge skills and behaviours and what the um, tasks are that the apprentice is going to be doing so that the employer can adjust the role if they need to if they're going to be focusing on a particular area so they can generate evidence that's going to help them towards their end point assessment.